Okay, that's very good. Thank you. Do we have another question? I have one question. Could you identify yourself? Sorry. Nobody knows. Pain in the butt from Ferdington. Charles LeBlanc from Ferdington. Uh, I got a question for the government. Uh, what are they going to do? What do they have planned when the perfect storms hits Kent County? When the natives and the Acadian and the English get together and battle these big industries of shale gas? That's my question. <laughs> okay, thank you, Mr. Leblanc. Oh, Again, I. Mark, I think, is doing his, his research. He's becoming a librarian this evening. <laughs> so, I think uh, perhaps I should ask somebody from the native side to respond to that. I think those three groups have already come together. And, um, I don't think you can draw lines of race, ethnicity, cultures. We tend to inhabit the province, even though we sometimes try to divide ourselves up. We tend to have the same understandings of what we want for the province, what we want to do. And those of us who are coming together in this fight tend to be those people who respect each other and respect the land rights, water rights, our clean air. Um, what we want for each other. I don't know what the government's response will be um, as we continue to fight this. Uh, if there were a way to get this government out of office, that would be my preference. Um, nothing written into legislation, I guess, that allows us to do that. Uh, I also, along with Sean Louis, have taught social control and social justice and see some other sociologists from Stu in the audience. And uh, I guess, the one thing that um, tends to that we tend to see is how autocratic and dictatorial our government's becoming, and perhaps at some point all New Brunswickers will recognize it because it will take over more than just the shale gas debate. Yeah.